it's really a model that is being being pushed by a, by a market you know by and now of course a capitalist market in which they can justify they can legitimize the way that they are appropriating all this knowledge and all these resources that are found and used by people you know in their day-to-day -day lives big business has no soul it's out for profits big profits and cares nothing for people's needs profits which they make through controls when I first heard about intellectual property rights, I tried to understand it within my own cultural framework. I don't do that anymore. I'm very clear in my mind that intellectual property rights is a package of legal instruments, and it's no more than that. They are legal instruments that have a very defined purpose, that have a very limited scope, and that are used for purely commercial purposes. Property law and its, and its origins, it's based on the notion that someone can actually own um, a part of nature and exclude others from using it and commercialize and um, benefit financially from, from that enclosure. That's the whole thing about Western democracy is everything's based on property rights. And that's not what Māori society was ever based on, property rights. It was all about the communal good, the collective good for the community. And knowledge was certainly held by certain people. And certain knowledge was shared. It's very much uh, related to, to a modern society, you know, who, uh, which, which wants to commodify, you know, everything and to consider everything as, co as, as something that can be commercialized. All they're interested in is seeing how they can capitalize for financial reasons on our knowledge. They're not really, they're interested in how they can get hold of that and take control of it and turn it into something they can patent and own and then uh, control. Um, unlike us, our knowledge, Mataranga Māori, or our knowledge about all of these things is something we've always shared. Intellectual property rights cannot be used to protect traditional knowledge. It can't be used to protect cultural heritage, can't be used to protect indigenous languages, can't be used to make states um, treat indigenous peoples more fairly. It's not what their goal is. Um, they were, it was never set up that way and it doesn't deliver that.